Good morning everybody, welcome to Reaching Reverie. I'm Alex and Louise and we're going to show you how to trim your chicken's flight feathers. So just a couple times a year it's very important to trim your chicken's flight feathers because otherwise they can get enough air that they can actually scale a really tall fence. Chickens are not really known for flying, but they can kind of flutter up just enough to get into fences and um, out of your property. And we definitely don't want that. Our girls generally are really well behaved and don't try to escape, but we have one chicken here and her name's Pip. She's one of our Rhode Island Reds that lately she's been pacing back and forth along my garden, looking up at the top of my fence line and that's showing me that she's interested in trying to get into my garden. And if she can jump this five foot garden fence, then it makes me a little nervous that she can jump our seven foot brick wall. So we are just as a precaution gonna go ahead and trim all of the girls' flight feathers so they don't get any ideas. They have been getting up on more things lately, like getting up into my wheelbarrow, and every week when I clean out the coop, I fill up this wheelbarrow with composting material, and you can see they get up on the wheelbarrow and scratch all of the stuff out, and I just have a ring of straw around this wheelbarrow. They've also been getting up on our picnic table lately and kicking off our succulent garden. We've had some broken pots. You can see they've been knocking over a lot of plants and really getting in here and doing some damage. Now it's most important to maintain keeping your chickens wings clipped when your chickens are really young because that's when they're going to be most adventurous. That's also going to be when they're lighter weight. As your chickens get older they're going to get a little more fattened up and it's going to be harder for them to get higher off the ground. So if you keep your chickens wings clipped when they're still really young and they're unable to really get out of their enclosures then they're never really going to try to get out of their enclosures. So us keeping our girls wings clipped is just general maintenance it's not because one chicken is necessarily really bad behaved but we're trying to prevent these bad behaviors before they happen you guys getting some snacks girls that's water for the tree what are y'all doing Acting like y'all don't have water buckets all over the place to drink out of. My tool of choice are tin snips. They stay really sharp and they work really good. Generally, we've had poor experience with scissors. They don't really cut through the feathers as well. Good job. Now, as you start, you also want to check your state of mind. And you want to be calm because the chickens can feel it. And it's gonna make the process easier on everybody if you have a nice, calm energy. So you have, it's always easier with more than one person. You have somebody hold the chicken and then somebody cut. So if you do cut too high up on the feathers, you can actually hit a blood vessel. So you want to be very careful. Um, but if you do just trim the feathers, it's basically like cutting hair. They don't even feel it. Grab another chicken. Sinisa's down. Sinisa's done. One chicken down, eight to go. And we started with the biggest, so hopefully it'll be downhill from here. One of the smallest. This is Miss Dua. And here, I want to show you guys her flight feathers. You see these long feathers right here? That's going to help them get air to go and do something like jump a fence. 
So we're going to trim those. And chickens have what's called primary and secondary feathers. The primary feathers are what they fly with. It helps them get that lift, which are these right here. And all the primary feathers, we, we've trimmed these a few months ago, so they're not all the way grown out, but they're starting to come back out. And so you can see all of her primary feathers, and then the second row of feathers are the secondary feathers. And as long as you don't trim past the secondary feathers, you shouldn't cut any blood vessels. So we cut right along the line of where the secondary feathers start. And see? Get Miss Yasha. And you can see Yasha's feathers didn't grow very much since last time we cut them, but we're going to go ahead and go through the process of trimming because it's good practice for all of your chickens to get used to this. She's fine. Yasha has the softest feathers, you guys, and they, aren't they just beautiful? When the sun hits them, they turn that green, blue, purple color. So she's good. She didn't really grow very many feathers in the past probably three or so months that, since we cut them. And this is Myrtle. Miss Myrtle's one of our reds, and she's one of our chunkiest chickens, so she doesn't really get very high off the ground. But again, it's good practice to handle your birds get them used to this. It's like cutting your fingernails or getting a, a little haircut. So she's done. Girl. If it's the first time cutting your chickens, your chickens are gonna have a lot more primary feathers, but because we maintain them every couple months, getting them trimmed, it's really just like trimming your hair. It's not quite as much coming off. All right, so next we have Ariel. Ariel is notoriously the hardest bird to handle, so I'm kind of expecting a little bit of a fight here. Almost lost her wing. Oh, 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 oh. Grab her wing. There you go. Bring it in, sweetie. There you go. There we go. Good job, Ariel. She hasn't really been taking care of her feathers as much. Look how yeah. dirty they look. Ariel, you got to clean yourself. you got to take care of yourself. Ariel, I'm really going to make sure I go Cover all wings, the way. Cover wings, cover wings, cover wings. i got to let her. From the top. got to make sure we do a really good job with Ariel because she's one of our our risk ones that might try to get out. There you go. Good job, Ariel. All right. Here comes Miss Mary. Okay. So I have Miss Mary. Mary's another one of our flighty birds. She actually was able to get on top of the fence to the dog's yard which is when we clipped their wings last time. And she hasn't been able to get up there since, but she's very curious, and she's always looking for something to get on top of, just for fun. She's one of our suspects for getting on the table and knocking over the cactus. My cactus garden. But we love Mary. She's just a really, really sweet bird. Good job. Yeah, so we need Miss Molly. <laughs> Molly's a little flighty, huh? She squatted for him, so it'll be easy to get her. <laughs> he's one of our fast ones. Yeah, Molly, she's a sweet chicken, but she doesn't like to be handled. So we like to respect her and love her from a little bit of a distance. But it is, again, necessary to be able to handle your, your chickens. In case there's like a medical emergency, you want to know that you can catch them and hold them and know that it's not the end of the world when we do little things like this. Her feathers look really dirty, but that's just the color. She has a lot of brown flecks in her feathers. It's pretty neat. Good girl. All right, let's go investigate where Miss Pip and where Odette are. Like how the girls followed him into the coop. <laughs> there's Odette. And there's Pip. All right, we'll come back later, guys. You got lucky. They avoided it for now. You see that bird? No shame. No shame.
right, so Odette finished laying her egg. We're gonna go ahead and grab her. She's girl. our big girl. Look at her. This is Odette. She is the alpha, but she's a very sweet with people. Very gentle chicken. And even though we're clipping their feathers, they are still going to be able to jump three to four feet. So they can still get up onto roosts at night. They can still jump up and get onto things. Like they probably will still be able to get on this picnic table but this is gonna keep them from getting out of our yard, which is something we really don't want to happen with our chickens. All right, let's go see if Pip's done. Pip's done. <laughs> you always know where Pip is. She makes a lot of noise. Getting some water? <laughs> And see, we already did Yasha. Like, once we clip their wings, they're not afraid of us. And it really has to do with the energy. All right. Mm hmm Yeah, Pip's right there. It all soaked into the ground, Pip. If you want water, you got to come drink over here. Everyone's coming over I know. I know. Our chickens, they love people. Not afraid one bit. They all think he has treats. <laughs> so they don't hold it too personally after we do wing clipping. <laughs> All right. And last but not least, this is Pip. She is the chicken that we have that has been looking at the top of our wall lately, making us a little nervous. And we don't want her to get out. Pip is another one of our favorite chickens. We love all of our girls. She's a huge troublemaker, but it really keeps things interesting and we get a good laugh having her on our little homestead. Let's see, I'm going to go all the way back where the secondary feathers start. These tin snips are just the best thing for cutting chicken wings because they stay really, really, really sharp. We tried our luck with scissors. I know, we tried scissors, we tried the garden pruning shears and they just get dull so fast. Look at this guys, all the feathers <laughs> that we trimmed on the ground. Did you hear her? Was that her? Yeah. What was that noise, Miss Mary? <laughs> all right, so just an up close look. You can see where these secondary feathers end, the tips of them, we didn't even cut the secondary feathers at all. And that's right where you want to cut those primary feathers. And I know whenever the girls really struggle, I just let go. And then I'll grab it again, I'll readjust the grip. I don't hold like a death whip grip on their wings because I don't want them to hurt themselves. So I want my chickens, the chickens to be relaxed. It is gonna be a little stressful for them, especially the first time, but they're gonna learn that, you know, nothing bad happened, just relax and then you trim those wings. Mary makes it look easy, huh? <laughs> She's a good chicken. I think it's time to give the girls some treats. What do you think? Yep. <laughs> they know. Here. Like we're gonna give them some grublies, little soldier fly grubs, and that is gonna help gain their forgiveness. Someone got a callus. <laughs> <laughs> they were pecking at your hand. They grab my callus. Look. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I think we might be forgiven. Yeah, but if you do it right, there will be no blood, there will be no pain. They just, it's just about holding them and just kind of trimming those feathers so they don't get out. Good job, girls. And how long did that take, like 10 minutes? <laughs> 10 minutes tops. <laughs> Are they picking your callus? Yeah. They keep grabbing onto it. <laughs> What's going on here? <laughs> this is how you get crazy chickens. 
Their favorite food are these little fly larvae. <laughs> they love it. Yeah, they do love it. Look, Ariel wants more. <laughs> it's empty cup. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck, girls. It's gone. It's gone. <laughs> she keeps checking in there. Oh, yeah, look, this is Sunisa right there. <laughs> this one? Yeah. That's definitely a Sunisa egg. I already got four. Still pretty early. We'll come back later. What is it, Pip? She's got a lot to say today. Pips definitely are. Most talkative girl. <laughs> well, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Let us know if there's anything else you want to know about taking care of your chickens and share with us some of your experiences below on how did it go trimming your chicken's wings. This video was not brought to you by Gatorade. This is water. Mm-hmm. Ice cold water. It's not ice cold, is it? <laughs> It's most important to maintain wing clipping when your chicken. <coughs> Gosh darn it. Here, hold on. I'm waiting till the train's gone. I'm sorry, little duo. I'll let you go. It's like they know when we're trying to record a video and the train comes through town. 